Recognize prime numbers. The first thing we need to know in order to recognize prime numbers is what is a prime number. A prime number a prime number has exactly two factors. So that's two whole numbers that go into the number we're looking at exactly. We might take 7 as an example, e.g. 7. It's divisible. It has the factors of 1 and 7. Therefore, 7 is a prime number. You might notice that one of the numbers that goes into 7 is itself. It's self. And the other one, the other number, is 1. And that's always the case. A prime number has exactly two factors. And one of the factors is always the number 1. And the other factor is always itself. So if we look at another example, a non-prime number, we could look at the number 6 as factors 1. 1 times 6 is 6. 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And 3. 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, and 6, 1 times 6 is 6. Therefore, 6 is non-prime. You might hear non-prime numbers referred to as composite numbers. I want to mention the number 1 because it's kind of a funny number in terms of whether it's prime or non-prime. It has the factor 1. It's only divisible by itself. Therefore, we'd say it's non-prime, um, but it's not composite either because it only has one factor. It's perhaps worth mentioning the number 2 because that has two factors, the number 1 and the, the number 2. So it has the factors of 1 and itself. So therefore, it's prime. And it's special in that it's the only even prime. If we wanted to check if a number is a prime number, ask ourselves a question, is 47 a prime number? Well, it is divisible by... 1, so there's our first factor. It's not divisible by 2, because um, it's not even. Only even numbers are divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? Let's work that out. We can say that 10 times 3 is 30. 5 times 3 is half of that is 15. So 15 times 3 is 45. 16 times 3 is 48. So it's not divisible by 3. Divisible by 4? No, it's not, because 4 is a multiple of 2. We can discount all even numbers, because it's not divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 5? No, it's not, because it doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. Is it divisible by 6? No, that's even. 7? It might be divisible by 7. A nice times table to remember is 7 times 7 is 49. Seems to have a nice rhythm to it. I find that one fairly easy to remember. Uh, if we take off 7 from that, 6 times 7 is 42. You can see 47 falls between 49 and 42, so it's not divisible by 7. We know it's not divisible by 8, because 8's an even number. 9, you might use the trick that the two numbers, if your answer to your 9 times table is a two-figure number, uh, that the two, did, uh, the two figures would add up to 9. 4 plus 7 is 11. It's not divisible by 9. 10, it doesn't end in a 0, so it's not divisible by 10. 11, uh, quite a nice times table to remember. Uh, 4 times 11 would be 44. 5 times 11 would be 55, so it's not divisible by 11. 12, not an even number. 13, we'll try. Uh, 13 times 10 is 130. 
13 times 5 is 65. Take 13 from 65. You could say that 13 times 4 equals 52. Take another 13 from that. 13 times 3 equals 39. So we're falling between uh, 13 times 3 and 13 times 4. So 47 isn't divisible by 13. So we can cross out 13 as a possible factor. 14 is in the 2 times table, so we don't need to worry about that. 15 is in the 5 times table, we don't need to worry about that. 16 in the 2, 17. Um, what? 17, 17, 17. So 3 times 17, 7, 14, 21. 10, 20, 30, 50. We've gone past it. 17 times 2 is only 34, so we can discount 17. 18 is even. 19, or well, 19 times 2, let's see what that gets us. 20 plus 20 would be 40. Uh, take off 2 would be 38. 38 plus another uh, 20 would be 58. Uh, take 1 because it's 19. So 19 times 3 equals 57. So that's shot past our 47. So we know it's not in the 19 times table. 20 times table, no, because it doesn't end with a 0. 21 times table, 21, um, 42. And then we've gone past it, so no. Can get rid of that. 21, 22. Uh, well, no, because 22 is in the two times table. 23 is 23. Does 23 go in? Oh, it looks like it might need quite. 23 times 2 is 46. And once we add another 23 on, we're well past 46. Uh, 24 is in the two times table, so that won't go into 47. And once we've got halfway to our number that we're testing, we don't need to go any further. Because um, if you think about the lowest number we can times another number by when we're doing this test, 24 times 2, for instance, would give us 48. We've gone past the number we're looking at. And so if we did 25, we wouldn't do that anyway because it's in the 5 times table. 25 times 2 is 50. We're always going to be too high once we go past um, over halfway on this number. So once we've done this much of a test, thinking it through, we can say definitively that 47 is a prime number because the only factors it has are 1 and itself, which really brings us back to our definition of what a prime number is. So you can do a long-winded version like we've done today, or you might be able to look at the number itself if it's a friendly number, if you will, and determine if the number you're looking at is in fact a prime number. Remember the definition is when the only factors of the number in question are 1 and itself the number can then be deemed prime.